Hey, how's it going, gentlemen? Welcome back to Samvox Channel. Today, we're going to be unboxing the Master Grey Hyakushiki Crash. It's from the Build Divers side story, the Grim Ball World Challenge. So it's a side story. I hope I got the I hope I got the name right. If I don't, please tell me down in the comments. Well, you know, for those of you who watch my review frequently, that you know that I extremely hate Build Divers. Not the re-rise. Re-rise is pretty good. I accept that, except for that core Gundam design, which I mentioned before that I don't really like the baby form. Build Divers, honestly, I'm not a big fan of it and I don't like it at all. But re-rise, I can say that meh, I can sort of accept it for the storyline. Anyway, that's another topic. But today we're going to be building the Build Divers. As much as I hate Build Divers, they do have some good design. So Hyakushiki Crash will be one of them. So this scalper, I didn't pay a very expensive cost. I didn't pay for like $200 to get this. I just got this from the Facebook market. Some sellers said that uh, he no longer got the time to build this kit. So he just sell it out like very cheap, 75 AUD. But last time when I checked eBay, every Hakshiki crash that you try to buy now is around like 150 plus. That's without shipping. With the shipping, it's around 200 or about. So back to the model box right here. I gotta say that Master Grey Premium Bandai, for some reason, I always felt like they are, they done way better than the XG or the RG version of the box. Master Grey always have some unique design or at least you can see some action. You know, the ROG and the XG Premium Bandai boxes, they are just pretty boring. They are just like standing position and a very blurry image at the background where showing the mobile suit is fighting. But for MG, they show you the whole action scene or sometimes they will have some unique box like this. You know, if you take a close look to the box right here, you can see that Hyakushi, Hyakushiki Crash. This is the, this is the Japanese and you can see at the background, you can see the word destruction, you can see that it's all over the box. It's pretty unique. I like this kind of unique design. Now, let's look at the box around. So, you know, at the side of the box this time is just like the premium Bandai uh, traditional, which is the just the name and then just the mobile suit picture. Done. And then, you know, at the other side, it's just the same. And then at the other side right here, it's just the same. So there's not much to talk about. So just open up the runners first. So I finally done opening all the runners. There are a lot of runners, but I have to say something about the MG instruction menu is they always done a better job than the XG or RG because XG and RG, they are just recycling the instruction menu or they just give you an instruction menu, which is new, but they don't give you any pictures. And for MGs, at least they gave you some pictures, which is something that I like. And right now, what you can see right now is the Hakushiki crash in an action where it just fires a beam and then now there's some smoke coming out, which is pretty good. And now there's some brief introduction about the Hakushiki crash. If you really want to read it, pause it here and just read it. Now open up first. So now let's look at the runners right here. So just quickly looking at it, it seems like a lot of runners that is that will not in use. That's pretty good. Wow, there's a lot of crosses here. So that's gonna be a lot of part um, left out, which is plastic waste in my opinion, because I don't do customized gunpla anyway. So those part for me is just waste. Maybe for those people who play customized. It's gold for you, but for me, uh, it felt like it's a waste. So now let's just quickly look at the instruction menu. Just quickly flicking through it. Now that's it. Now looking at this weapons, it seemed like the the long rival right here is based on its 
you know, the long rifle right here, the design looks really similar to the design on the Gundam X, where it can be a shield or it can be a rifle. So it's pretty similar concept to the Gundam X and here, the water side decals. For those of you who watch my only one video with water side decals, you know that I always will just screw up the water side decals. So I really hope that this time I don't. So right here, the decals is not that much. So I think I, I should be able to handle it. And now color guide down here, done. Okay, now let's look at the runners. Starting with the F runner, this is from the Hakushiki 2.0. This is the outside legs armor and then, you know, the back waist. And then we have the beam saber bracks, I don't know. And then this part right here, I don't know what part is this. But as I said, there's a lot of runners with crosses on this. So the, most of these parts might not be in use. So the H part right here, I don't know which runner is this, like which Okay, so where it's come from, I don't know. So, you know, right now down here, I don't know which part is which. All I can tell is, is some kind of long rival. We have two C runners. They are from the Hyakushiki 2.0, which is the inner frame of the whole Hyakushiki. So just briefly go about it. I think this is the head, this is the shoulders, this is the... Oh, this is a shoulder clip. This is the legs part right here. Others, I don't really know because I never built a Hakashiki or the Hakashiki Kai or the Hakashiki Mass Production. That's why I don't really know which part is which. So another F runner from the Hakashiki 2.0. This time, uh, we already discovered this part. So down here, we have the front skirt, I think. This is the part of front skirt, shoulders, which will not be in use. And then we have some part of the head, I think, right here. I might be wrong. So the A runner right here, we can see some chest part, we can see some tubes, we can see some clear pieces for the eyes, and then we can see some frames right here. They, um, they are metallic to gold. So I think I would just re, I think I would just respray it. J1 and J2 runner, they are duplicated. So this runner is from the Hyakushiki Kai, which is the premium Bandai. And honestly, I don't know which part is not in use. So I'll just make some assumption. This is the wings, this is the backpack joints, and then this is the backpack. And other than that, I don't think there's anything else. Two L runners from the Hyakushiki Kai. Uh, most of the parts here, I don't think will be in use. We have a pilot figure right here as well. And then you can see some some feet part right here, some thrusters, and then other parts I don't really know. O1 runner, this is for the Hakushiki Crash, which is this master grade right here. And this is, the whole runner is about the, the rival. We have two D runners right here, so it's from the Hakushiki 2.0. Um, so again, it's the inner frame of the Hakushiki, but as I said, I never built a Hakushiki 2.0 or Hakushiki Kai, so I'm not making any kind of judge call right here. Everything that I said here is just assumption. Two E runners from the 2.0, Hakushiki 2.0, and then we can see the standing figure and the sitting figure of uh, Koatono Bajina. And then we can see some other parts, which I don't know which part is which. We have the N1 and N2 runner from the Hyakushiki crash itself. So, this is the new inner frame of the Hyakushiki crash. I assume this is the new legs part. And then you know you have the beam saber Rex right here. And then I don't know this part. And then you have some new waist part. You have some new legs part right here. This is a legs part as well. The Q3 runner, the new runner for the Hyakushiki Crash. This one right here, I assume it's gonna be like uh, arms part and possibly torso parts. 2G runner from the Hyakushiki 2.0. You can see some wings on the backpack. You can see some, some kind of small parts from the shoulders. You can see some parts from the arms, legs, etc. But most of the parts here will not be in use. K1 and K2 runner right here. This is from the Hakushiki Kai. So most of the parts right here, head parts, and then you have some legs part, you have some wings, you have some new shoulders, the waist, and then the waist armor. Honestly, I don't really know which part is which because most of the runners from the original Hakushiki is not really in use, except for the frame, I think. The M1 and M2 runner, they are from the Hakushiki Kai, and this is the shoulders, this is the legs, wings, 
and I don't think anything else is here and maybe the face but I don't know this does the face will be used or not E runner from the Hakashiki 2.0 but as I said some of the inner frame will not be in use because we just saw one of the runners contain the new inner frame for the Hakashiki crash so I'm not making any assumption here because I think most I think half of this runner will be like wasted Saber effect parts i1 and i2 runner they are from the Hakashiki Kai and you know this is the inner frame of the new this is a new inner frame for the Hakashiki Kai so I don't really know which part will be used which part will be not in use so it's very hard for me to judge which part is which and then lastly we have the water slide decals I hope I don't screw them up but if I do please forgive me because I am very bad at water slide decal anyway let's not talk too much let's just let's just um, end the video right here and I'll see you guys at the review video make sure you hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified whenever I upload a new video like this video subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys at the review video later goodbye